Hey artists, the world can always use a little more kindness. And sometimes all it takes is a small act, like sharing your umbrella, to make someone feel happy on a rainy day. So today we're going to be making April Shower's umbrellas as a reminder to be kind. For today's art, we're going to be taking inspiration from the cover of the book, Be Kind, written by Pat Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. Our first step is going to be to find a round object, like this bowl here. Then I'm going to take a pencil to trace around the edges of the bowl to make a circle. It's very important that you use a pencil here because we're going to go back and erase our pencil lines later. Next, you're going to pick up a bold colored marker or sharpie. You're going to use this to draw a plus sign, taking up the length and width of your circle. It helps if you draw a little dot in the middle, marking where the lines of your plus sign cross. This will help guide your next two diagonal lines, making an X appear on your plus sign. Great! Now we're going to take the sections that kind of look like slices of pizza and connect them at the ends with curvy lines. These curvy lines are going to give your umbrellas more dimension and make them appear more realistic. Take your time. You should have eight sections of your umbrella once you're done. Next, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to take an eraser and erase any pencil marks that are left over from your circle. Now we're ready to draw our bodies. Now the basic shape of our raincoats can kind of look like a rectangle or a triangle that are just missing their tops. You're going to connect three straight lines to make this shape. Next, you're going to draw two parallel lines to make your arm. Those are two lines that don't cross and follow the same path. Make sure these lines are diagonal to show movement. You can use curvy lines for your hand and three straight lines for your legs. And now I'm going to have some fun drawing my rain boots. These are perfect for splashing in puddles. For your arm holding your umbrella, you're going to draw a diagonal line connecting your raincoat to your umbrella. Now of course you're not floating, so we're going to draw a horizon line. This line separates the ground from the sky. I'm going to continue adding details, like raindrops and puddles made from organic shapes. I'm even going to show that April showers bring May flowers by drawing beautiful flowers springing from the grass. Now I'm ready to get even more creative by designing my umbrella. I'm going to use my Patterns, Lines, and Designs reference sheet to help me get started, but you can use any patterns or designs that you can come up with. Now I encourage you to make your umbrella look different than mine. Make your designs unique. Make them your own. And I'm just trying my best to make sure each section of my umbrella looks different. I'm drawing some uncle curved lines, I've got some baby zigzag lines, I even drew some springtime flowers. There is no right or wrong way to design your umbrella. Once you're finished drawing your designs, you're going to get ready to start writing your special message. Remember, we're starting to think about small acts of kindness, and our umbrellas are reminders to ourselves and to people seeing our artwork to be kind. Finally, it's time to add some color. I'm going to use crayons to draw my colors in the order of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink for good form. I wanted to make my umbrella look like the color wheel, but you can use any colors you want. Be sure to look over your artwork and add color to all your details, no matter how small. Hold on, we're not done yet. I still have one more way you can draw your umbrella. For your second choice, you're going to pick up a bold colored sharpie or marker and begin by drawing a curved line. 
make sure you draw it nice and big so it looks like the curve of a rainbow. At the bottom of the giant curvy line you just drew, you're going to add three more smaller curvy lines that kind of look like you just took a bite out of a cookie. Draw a dot at the top of the first curvy line that you drew, and from there draw a line connecting your dot to the second pointy mark on your umbrella. You're going to do the same thing with the point next to it. Now, just like in the first umbrella example, you're going to draw the raincoat. Your raincoat takes on the shape of a rectangle or a triangle, just without the top. Just like before, we're drawing diagonal parallel lines to show that our person is moving. Draw another diagonal line up to the umbrella and three more parallel lines for the legs. Don't forget to add some curved lines for the boots and hands. Once again, your person is not floating, so we need to draw a horizon line separating the ground from the sky. I'm drawing wavy lines to make my organic shapes for my puddles. I'm adding raindrops for detail. You can use baby zigzag lines to make grass coming from the ground, and it looks like the rain is watering the flowers. Once again, you can refer to your patterns, lines, and designs reference sheet for some ideas to get started, or you can come up with your own designs. It is totally up to you. Once I feel happy about my designs, I'm going to get ready to start writing the words, be kind. Take your time, don't rush, and make sure it looks like you care about your artwork. Finally, it's time to add some color. Think about the colors you want to use and where you want to put them. I'm using lots of colors, blue, orange, yellow, green, red, any colors I can use to make my umbrella stand out on a gloomy day. Can't forget the rain boots, of course. Now I'm scanning my artwork to make sure I didn't miss any details. I'm going to add some blue to my puddles, making sure I'm taking my time coloring in the lines. And then I'm going to take that same blue to color in my raindrops. I'm using green for my grass, and I'm making sure I'm using bright, beautiful colors for my flowers. My last step is to color in the heart next to the words, be kind, as a reminder to let kindness pour. And there you have it. I hope these umbrellas help bring sunshine to your rainy days and give you something to look forward to as our April showers get ready to bring Mayflowers.